all as always looking sharp, man. See as back. All, all, oh man, hold on. Oh boy, look at that. Oh the cat. Oh boy, as always looking sharp. Like I said. Hey, thanks for sitting down with me, man. I want to open up with some random questions, just random questions. Okay. Nothing to do with boxing. All right. Well, keep make it quick because I know they're gonna pull me. Okay. So I okay. want you to get all you can get. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get all okay. I can get, but nothing to do with boxing right now. Okay. Where is your favorite stereo? Where is? Where is your favorite? Is it in the car? Is it the surround sound uh, at the house? Is it the bedroom? Man, listen, I have a, uh, uh, I, I have, a, I'm always listening to music in the car, but I got a small. JBL uh, okay. speaker, speaker and that that thing goes everywhere. It goes me. everywhere. Okay. Shower, cleaning, oh, cooking, sure. yeah, the whole nine. And just plug up the iPhone yep. and let's go. Yeah, let's okay. go. Okay, yep. where's your favorite piece? What is your favorite piece of furniture? Uh, my favorite piece of furniture, I would say. Um, where am I in the most? I have some stools at my uh, at my island, and I'm always at the island. So okay, probably the stool. The yeah. stools? Wow, yeah. that's the first time yeah. I got that one. Yeah, that's the first yeah, time yeah, I got the, one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, um, does sugar corn grits? <laughs> I'm gonna say you hell. Gonna, I want to hear it. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my man. Yeah. What about uh, pineapple corn pizza? Uh no. Uh -uh. No pineapples uh -uh. on pizza. No, Have you tried it? I've had it, and okay. I've no. I've had it, and I don't like it. Okay. Yeah. Where's your favorite? Uh, what What do you do with your Mitch Mac socks? I do throw them away. You throw yeah, them away? Yeah. Hell, do you, I mean, do you, you give them a couple away. cycles? Do you get, you know, nah, maybe I'll I do, find I do, one? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. I do, I do put one, and put it to the side <laughs> yeah, for a little just while. In, just in case. I come back and I still see it there. I'm like, oh, it's <laughs> okay, time for you to go. Okay, it's time for you to go. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you ain't got wifey no more. If you weren't playing, if we talked about this, you might be playing football if you weren't boxing, right? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I don't know, man. Them guys hitting hard. Come on. You're not the one to shy away from a hit. Come on, stop it. Yeah. You would you be playing? Love football. You'd be yeah. loving football? Yeah. Now, you know LeBron's going to – you said yesterday, LeBron, you talked to your guy, he's going to be here uh, yeah. on Saturday night. Yeah, best we can to get him there. Yeah. What's that mean that you have that guy in your corner? LeBron? Yeah. You know, I think – I'll be honest. If he comes to the fight, it won't be just because Sean Porter. I mean, let's be real here. Uh, Errol Spence is a dynamic fighter. Uh, he, he's, you know, been done a lot uh, in his young career, and he's really exciting. So I think, if anything, LeBron would probably be coming to see a great fight opposed to just seeing Showtime Sean Porter win. I, I think there's no doubt he would be in, in Northeast Ohio's corner. Um, nevertheless, I think he would definitely be coming to, to enjoy the fight. All right. Cameron Buford, Voice of the Fans. I got Sean Porter with me, champion Sean Porter with me. Yeah. Big fight on Friday, uh, Saturday night, September 28th. Why should people tune into this one? Uh, the, it's, you know, this fight has everything that is required to entertain you, make you cry, make you, make you smile, make you feel good, uh, make you feel bad. I mean, this, this, is, this, this fight is almost like a movie. It's going to give you everything you want. In that short amount of time, when you're done watching, you're gonna be like, you're gonna be extremely satisfied. And um, I'm looking forward to winning this fight, man. I'm looking forward to doing things against Errol Spence that no one's ever seen him do. Speaking of Spence, he called you. He, he called you dirty, and when you guys did the face off, mm -hmm. called, mentioned it again today. Does that? How, how do you take that? Do, do you? Do you, is I talked to your your dad. I talked to your trainer Wade about it. But how do you take that? You know, what, and I'm seeing it today. I think maybe more than anything, he's he's trying to get me out of my rhythm and out of what I do. That's not gonna happen. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go in there and do me. Okay. Sure. And like I said up there, watch out. I like that. I like watch that. Watch out. Now about life. Yes, sir. What is um, overcoming adversity? Yeah. What's the most adversity you have to overcome? Not necessarily in the ring, but we'll, just about life. We'll go back to LeBron James. I watched LeBron when he left uh, Cleveland. And, uh, you know, we knew when he went to Miami, he really wanted to be a, a champion. He wanted to get a ring. His first, first year down there, he does not win the championship. They lose to, uh, to the Dallas Mavericks. And, I, and, I, and, and my thing is when I watch athletes, I always watch everything. I don't just watch you dunk the ball and, and shoot it. I watch how you how you walk to the to the sidelines. I watch you know how you interact with other players, so on and so forth. And so I was watching him through that loss, and I could tell that he was hurt. And um, when he came back that following season and won, it's when I got a revelation or a creed. And my creed is adversity makes a champion. You have to go through something in life, not just in the boxing ring, not just okay. on the court. Okay. You have there, you have to go through something in life, yeah. and depending on how you go through that, determines whether or not you're going to be a champion or you're going to quit 
and lose and give up. Okay, okay. And um, that's really what I got out of watching him win his first championship. And then after that, he was off to the races, you okay. know. So that's really my, my life lesson is, um, you know, adversity makes a champion. If you're not willing to do what it takes when it gets hard, then you really are not a champion in life. Okay, so Sean, Showtime Sean Porter, what's yeah. that adversity you went through? I've been through a lot of adversities. Um, the the main adversities I, I can say that I've been through inside of the ring is is losing, is uh, having a draw, is um, you know things not going the way I wanted them to go. And and I remember how they didn't go the way I wanted them to go, and I broke down. I didn't do the things I needed to do, the adjustments I needed to make. So I've been through enough adversity to um, to know that right here in this moment, whatever happens in that fight, I'm ready for it. You're ready for it. When you started boxing. Did you pattern yourself, your, your style after anybody in particular? Who was that? Marvin Hagler. Marvin Hagler. Yeah. yeah. Marvin Hagler, in my opinion, is, is in my opinion, he's the oh. greatest fighter of all time. Um, marvelous. But he, marvelous Marvin Hagler was a boxer puncher. Okay. He could box you from the outside, meanwhile being aggressive and, and bringing a fight to you the whole night. Okay. Uh, he was relentless. He was mean. Okay. Uh, he did not quit. And um, and I love that about him. And so I watched him when I was really young, 10, 9, 19 years old. And for whatever reason, I chose him, you know. So I've always tried to be a really good boxer puncher. I think as a professional, I was very much so as an amateur, but as a professional, I think that the aggression and the power punching and things like that has shown up a lot more because it just kind of happens that guys can't handle that, you know. So... Uh, Errol Spence thinks he's ready for it. We'll, we will we'll, see. We're going to see. We're yeah. going to see. We will see. Um, Life, thank you again for your time. I got it again. Nice. Cameron Buford, for Showtime, Sean Porter, Voice of the Fans. Life, we've all had life experience that kind of helped shape and mold our life. Not necessarily advers adversarial advantage, yeah. but kind of what helped and shaped and shaped your life to make you the man that you are, the champion that you are. I mean, today. it's no secret that my dad has done uh, a lot for me in my life. Um, he he gives me life lessons every day. I mean. Two days ago, he told me, you have to wake up every morning with intent. I mean, like, these are just life lessons that people just can't buy. You know, you you got to buy books and, and really read through the whole thing to find them. You know what I mean? I'm getting things like that from my dad. Um, having my son has really helped me uh, prioritize my life. I think you got to have your priorities in, in order in order to live a, a good, you know, and successful life. So between my, my son now being a year, a little bit more than a year and a half, my dad always being there, and then also me having life experiences to, to recognize that I'm not here just to box. I'm not here just to, you know, live my life for my son or just for my dad or, you know, anything like that. I'm here for the world. And so I'm prepared to do what it takes to um, make this world a better place. That's awesome. That's awesome. Sean, thank you again. What's on your bucket list? After Obviously, you want to win a championship on, yeah, on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. I, I got that. Outside of boxing, what's on your bucket list? What are some of the things you want to do? You want to do some bull riding? You want to... Um, you want to go to the running with the Bulls in Pamplona? What, what, what's, uh, what's some of the things that you think um, like you dream about getting done? I've done a lot in my 31 years mm -hmm. of life. I've been able to travel the world without being everywhere. I've been able to, you know, do a lot um, just in a short amount of time. I think that there's still on my bucket list some, some countries that I want to visit. Uh, Egypt is one. Um, there's some things that some fun things that I haven't done yet. I, re I haven't been on a cruise yet, believe it or not. So, I haven't been on a cruise yeah, myself, so man. I, I don't know. That that actually, believe it or not, is coming really, really soon. And um, if I can give you one more, um, okay. So I've sky I've done skydiving yeah. four times. Wow. Okay. After my fourth time, they they they're telling me and they're encouraging me to get licensed to jump on, to be a solo jumper. Oh wow. The, the, the thing that makes me want to do that is because I travel the world so much. This place, they said, once I get certified. Wherever I am in the world, I can jump as long as I find a jump site. So okay. that might be the at the very top of the bucket list is getting yeah. certified to be a solo jumper so that I could jump around the world. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy, that's right? crazy. I, yeah. we'll I, I've, I've, I don't have the courage to skydive. We'll I haven't got, but this is a champion. That's why he's a champion. He got the courage to do these different yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. That's, pretty, that's pretty bananas. Yeah. Your why, you talked about your son. You talked about your pops, and these are the kind of th things that get you going. Now tell the people, tell the people something they don't know about you. Uh, or they'd be surprised to know about you. Uh, like I'm surprised to hear that you're, you're a skydiver. Okay, well here I'll give you this one. Um, along because we'll stay right there with the life lessons and things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. I've had a lot of experiences in my life, and um, I've been able to do a lot in my life. Um, you can't do very much by yourself. 
There's okay. got to be somebody there to help you, teach you, mold you, right. correct you, so on and so forth. Um, and, ath and athletics, not just the sport of boxing, but in professional sports, there's really no one there to help these fighters, these athletes, um, with their day-to-day uh, prioritizing, getting things in the order, uh, managing their money, uh, paying taxes, uh, managing their relationships, whether that's with a woman or with a friend that, you know, they you turn pro and now they're, you know, expecting things, so on and so forth. Um, when I'm done with this fight, I'm going to enroll in school. I'm going to get a psychology degree. Hmm. I'm going to be a, a life coach, wow. a sports psychologist. Sports psychologist. And I'm going to help, help these athletes be all they can be um, so that... Uh, so that they can do everything that they need to do on the on the court, on the field, in the ring, to the best of their abilities. People don't realize it, but there's a lot that, that holds us back and pulls us back from being our best, whether that's just a relationship that we have at home that isn't all the way the way that it needs to be. Fulfilled, completely fulfilled. The, the check that you got wasn't what, ex, what you expected. Now you got to go out there and play Sunday no matter what, you know what I mean? So there's just... There's a lot of things that I've experienced that I know I can help a lot of other athletes with. and So that's one thing. I'm going to be a psychologist when I'm done with this. Do that include agents? Be, be an agent potentially? I don't think so. No. I don't think okay. so. I don't think that that's what, what my life is. I think my life is helping. Okay. Um, don't get it twisted. I'm not going to do this to make money. You no, know? No. Oh, that, yeah. that, that will be what it's going to be. It'll come. But I'm doing this 100% to help. Sean Porter, I want to thank you for your time again. You Big guy, it, we're looking forward to you. And, hey, show them, all, show them one more time to fit, man. Oh, man. Show them one more time gotta, to fit. I gotta, show them the, show, turn around, show them the back. I got to see this. Showtime, Sean P. Always come correct. Yeah. And we got and we got his uh, yeah. Taylor, in, yeah. Taylor in the mix. My, my Taylor's here. And this, ooh, ooh, this is ooh. what we put together for this one. Ooh, so, ooh. The yeah. Browns and the, the Browns got yeah. the family portrait. Yeah. Oh, my. The, the boy. This is the, the Sweet Science Clothing Line. S Sweet Science Clothing Line. You hear? Tell, let the people know where they can find Sweet you, Sean. Sweet Science Clothing Line. Contact me, Showtime Sean P, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the good stuff. I got you. Also, Mild Dots Clothiers. This is where it all started with Mild Dots Clothiers and right here in my mind. So, thanks. Thank you again for your time. You got it. Appreciate it, my man. You got it.